I would like to see this information as a web page. So for that, what we should do is just go to the site stats class and define another static method, which is also public, get data. This method will have two parameters. The first is uh, like uh, HTTP server request. And the second one is HTTP servlet response. Okay, let's import the class. And the first thing what I will do is to set the content type as text html and get a print writer for the writer of the response object import the print writer class Let's encapsulate the exception to try catch block. Okay. Now I'll create a set of type string okay, as keys. I'll get the keys from visits map. Simple the set class also. And now for every key, I'll iterate and I'll get the value of visits. From visits map. Let's print the heading of the page to be H3 for example, Let's say site statistics. And for every visit, let's print URI is equal to. Let's copy the same contents from here and place it here. And instead of URI, just put it key. And at the end, add a break tag. After the for loop, just flush the print writer. Save the file. Edit the BRD configuration file and add another request tag. In this request tag, I want to set the pattern as slash data, which is a non existing URI and it will invoke the get data method. So let's define invocation for this and set on.my.web.site.stats.getData as the value of method name. Close the tag. Now I want to exclude this URI from the visit scout. 
So for that, set the exclude attribute to be slash data. Like uh, pattern attribute, you can also use Java regular expressions in exclude. Save all the files and go to the browser. Uh, make a couple of refresh for page 2. Make one for page 1. Also call index.jsp two three times for example and also this one and now call the data URI and you see this is the report that I received so in this part of the tutorial I explained how we can use Java methods uh, how we can invoke Java methods using VRD and it's very handy it's very useful uh, it's all declarative uh, in the next uh, part of the tutorial I'll explain how we can use VRD to control the application navigation as well as how we can enable different scripting languages such as Groovy, JRuby, Jython and JavaScript to write servlets Thanks for watching.